Good afternoon, and thank you for clicking in today on the ETBU Sportsnet. Hello, I'm Mike McGiff. For the next uh, 45 minutes to an hour, we're going to talk Tiger Sports. We do it each Wednesday live from the Huffman Student Activities Area on the first floor of the Ornella Student Center. Hello, I'm Mike McGiff, the voice of the Tigers. And first off the bat, our guest is David James. He's one of the team captains of this year's American Southwest Conference Championship football team. And, and David, first off, the first question I want to ask you, Go back to the time when you decided to come to ETBU. What, 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 Brent, what brought you to ETBU and say, hey, I want to come here and, and be a student athlete? Well, uh, I was actually committed to Hardin-Simmons. I was a verbal commit there. And uh, that was the only school that I had looking at me. And then uh, Coach Pappas actually showed up one day and uh, gave me the spiel on uh, ETBU and invited me out for a visit. And I came out here, fell in love with the campus, fell in love with the coaches, and actually that night I called uh, Coach Burleson over at Harden Simmons and told him never mind that I was going to be a Tiger. So when you <laughs> it was the best decision I've ever made. I don't know if I should ask this question. So when you beat Harden Simmons, did you go shake Coach Burleson's hand afterwards? He didn't stay on the field long enough for me to find him. <laughs> so I was, I was trying to, but he was gone. I understand why he would want to leave after you won that ball game, which gave you an undefeated record in the American Southwest Conference. Winning the last week's game against uh, University Mary Harden, Mary Harden Butler, a victory by the Tigers would have given them the outright championship, but unfortunately they lost to Mary Harden Butler by a final score of 67-20, so that means the conference finished up in a three-way tie between ETBU, Mary Harden Butler, and Harden Simmons. And over the weekend, Harden Simmons and Mary Harden Butler got the at-large bid to continue in the NCAA playoffs. Well, David, earlier in the year, uh, the vote for the team captains was held. How did that make you feel when you found out you were one of the team captains voted for this year's squad? Uh, well, last year I was a captain as well, and last year it hit me a lot harder as a junior. And, I mean, it means the world to you when – you when you know that people are looking up to you and then I got voted back on again this year and again it meant the world to me that I could actually be in a role of leadership and that people that I knew people were looking up to me and and looked at me for as an example and I mean it really makes you feel good about yourself and makes you want to strive to to be as good as you possibly can to try and and be a good example for everybody Visiting with David James, one of the defensive linemen on the Tiger defense this year. Of course, the Tigers, 7-3 and three overall, American Southwest Conference tri-champions. Talk about the season. When did you realize as a player that, you know, we could win the conference? I realized that the day we showed up for fall camp, uh, the, the team chemistry that we had just coming into fall camp with all the incoming freshmen uh, was amazing. I've never seen anything like it in my life uh, for any team that I've played for. Um, you could just tell. You could see it in everybody's eyes. Everybody was, you know, friends from the get-go. Uh, there was not very many people that quit. Uh, years in the past, we've had 30, 40 guys that are gone after the first two or three weeks, and this year we didn't have that. Um, and you could just, I mean, you could tell the way that people responded to their coaching. You could tell that the way people responded to people that weren't captain, uh, people that responded to any kind of senior leadership, uh, as well as the senior leadership that all of the seniors brought in together. Uh, and from the get-go, I knew something special was going to happen this season. Of course, this year you had two games played in the mud at Arnell. Mm -hmm. the Bill Haven game as well as the Harden-Simmons game. Two games you won. How dirty did you get in those games? Uh, I took probably four showers <laughs> uh, after each one of those. And then after the first one, uh, Bell Haven, my, uh, my shoulder pads were the – probably the smelliest thing I've ever wore in my life at practice. And so it was, I mean, I got pretty dirty. I and mean, even the guys on the sideline that didn't play got dirty just, just being there. Coaches were nasty as well. Explain to us how difficult it was to get your footing, playing a defensive line position. How difficult was it to get a solid ground underneath you when the field was all muddy and torn up? It, uh, well, our, our field was taken care of really well. So Bellhaven, about the, the first half, uh, it actually wasn't bad. We could cut, we could plant, we could, you know, do everything we normally do. And then the second half of that game when it started getting real sloppy, and uh, it was really hard to, to do everything. And then when we played Harden Simmons, it was impossible. It was, I mean, everybody was just trying to stay up. And it just became, we called it the mud bowl. So <laughs> that was, that's what it turned into. But it was, it was really difficult. What are your plans? You're about to graduate. You're a senior on this squad. Of course, we're the team captains. What are your plans next? Uh, I'm going to be graduating next fall, and uh, I think I'm going to try to get my master's here and then maybe try to come back as a GA if that's possible. 
Um, if not, then I'm going to graduate and uh, move on with my life and go into personal training, strength and conditioning, and that type of thing. Uh, try to help people better their lives physically. And then I'm also a psychology major, so I think that'll help me uh, help people you know, mentally as well. And that's really the goal. Well, well David, if we can, I want to take you 30 years from the day, okay? You're sitting there talking with friends, and they say, hey, weren't you a member of that American Southwest Conference championship team back in 2015? And you're going to go, yes, I was. What are you going to tell them? What do you think you'll tell them in 30 years about this special season? Uh, this is one of the most important times of my life and one of the most special times of my life. You know, uh, at some point I'm going to get married, and then at some point I'm going to have a kid, and those two things are going to be, uh, m like, more special. But nothing's ever going to take away the, what we, c we accomplished this season. And I, I'm still going to be flashing that ring around when I get it 30 years from now. And this, is, this is from college. Well, David, thank you for your time today. It's been a pleasure to call your name on sacks and tackles mm -hmm. as the voice of the Tigers. And thank best you to much. you as you graduate from ETVU and go on and do greater things. We're going to continue to talk Tiger football. We've got some other members of the squad as well. The other three captains are here, and we're going to talk to them as well. So don't go away. We've got more of ETVU Extra coming up next on the ETVU Sportsnet.